And now, the Detroit Piston legend. He is the 6'9 man of steel who imposed his will in the NBA. Watch by Ben Wallace. You know him as an NBA champion, a four-time All-Star and Defensive Player of the Year, taking the unconventional path. As a small-town Alabama kid, he beat the greatest of odds to make the 2021 show. The class of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, Ben Wallace. Hall of Fame never came across the radar, saying that you was one of the best players to ever play here. You can't prepare for that. Coming from where I come from, you just don't make it out of there. I always talk about being in love with the struggle, because every day was a struggle. Making it to the NBA was like an ultimate goal. That journey is what kept me alive. Ben Wallace was born in 1974 the 10th of 11 kids from Lowndes County, Alabama. He grew up in Whitehall, a small town named after an old slave plantation. The picturesque landscape cannot hide the remnants of the past. It's a poor area, a lot of farmland. You can tell like this area was heavily populated by slaves. Some of the stuff is still there. It still reeks of slavery. I can just walk down the street and see old log cabinet just sitting off in the cut. Like, I know what that was. Growing up as a kid, you ain't supposed to notice those things. But as a kid, I noticed them. I noticed them right away. It was hard. It was real hard. We only had our mother, and she was doing the best she could do. Like, we would get hungry, and we didn't see any food in the house. With an average kid, parents might go to the grocery store. My mom might go to the store and come back with a box of 12 gauge shells. Y'all go get something, and we go hit the woods. The boys would go hunting. They would catch rabbits and squirrels, and they would go fishing and stuff like that. Yes, indeed. Eat off the land. Poverty affected all areas of Wallace's life. In grade school, he once had to go barefoot when he outgrew his old shoes. For me to actually have to walk to school bare feet, I'm like, is anybody listening? Is anybody looking at this? Is anybody paying any attention to what is going on in our community? Lowndes County resides in the heart of the Black Belt, known for plantations where slaves were forced to pick cotton. Even in modern times, Ben says work in those fields is considered a rite of passage for black people in the community. I was looking at the dead end jobs that everybody else was working. I was working on that farm. What kind of farm was it? Cotton. Working in cotton field. You picked cotton? Pick cotton, bale hay. I don't want to say it was slavery, but it was the closest thing to being a slave that could have happened in the 90s in this country. My mindset was set from a young age that this ain't for me. This ain't the life I want to live. Ben first dreamed of making the Hall of Fame for football, not basketball, but a freak injury his junior year changed the defensive end's journey. Once I injured my neck playing football, you know, of course, as a kid, you know, you, you get nervous, you get scared, because you don't know what your next step is. And it's hard to tell a, you know, 17, 16-year-old that you need a plan B. But I just knew I just couldn't let my dreams end right there. I decided to switch and put most of my focus in basketball. Due to poor grades, Ben first went to Cuyahoga Community College in Cleveland to play college basketball in 1992. He flourished, averaging 17 rebounds and nearly seven blocks during his two years there. I was starting to take life serious, not just sport, not just going to school, but my life period. So when I got out of Lowndes County, that was it. I was like, Lowndes County, y'all made me too hungry, y'all made me too strong. Ben's next stop was Division II Virginia Union. All-American led the HBCU to the Final Four senior year, then entered the NBA draft. Welcome to the 1996 NBA draft. That draft class produced Hall of Famers such as Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, and Rayon. But Wallace wasn't selected. I was a little disappointed that I didn't get drafted because I had a couple of teams contact me and say if I was around late second round, they was going to take a chance on me. An undrafted Wallace joined the Celtic Summer League team in 1996. A comment from two Celtics legends during practice still lingers in his mind. ML called Dennis Johnson when they told me that I could never play in this league at my size. They lit a fire that would burn for 16 years, and, and I wanted to torture everybody that I came up against because of what they told me. 
a life-altering door opened in Washington for Wallace. When Bullets GM was unsealed, saw potential in the undersized big man and signed him to a minimal contract. It was very emotional, you know, because I knew at that point in my career, in my life, that I just had achieved an amazing feat that only few could ever say that they've done. After lackluster stops in Washington and Orlando, it was with the Pistons that Ben developed into a four-time All-Star and one of the greatest defenders in NBA history. Oh, what a block by Wallace! In 2004, he achieved the ultimate dream, winning an NBA championship. What was going across my mind was, they're not gonna believe when I tell them this in Lyons County. One of us escaped off this plantation and actually did something that the world is taking notice of. It's bigger than me, it's so much bigger than me. I was motivated so much by my community. Ben became a four-time Defensive Player of the Year, and his number three jersey with the Pistons was retired in 2016. In May 2021, he was inducted into the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame. A week later, Wallace got a phone call, this time from the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. I had to really sit back and take a moment because I was enjoying that Alabama and riding that, and then the Nate Smith just knocked me down, and you know I had to, I actually had to sit back and take a moment. Like it is really happening. Would you say that you put your road to the Hall of Fame against anybody's at the Hall of Fame? <laughs> the route that I went is a direct reflection of what I'm labeled as as a Hall of Fame. The first undrafted player to ever be named and be a Hall of Fame. Throughout my career, I've been the first to do a lot of things. People ask me, what was my gift? What was my talent? Was it rebound and was it defense? My talent was my engine. Yeah, I was dealt a bad hand, a real bad hand. You know, not just me, my entire family, my community. We always dealt a bad hand. I always talk about being in love with the struggle. If you're not in love with the struggle, then you're not gonna survive. But if you're in love with the struggle, you find out a way to survive. People ask me what I'll say to the next Ben Wallace. I wouldn't say nothing to the next Ben Wallace. I'll say something to the people. I hope y'all recognize him when you see him. And hopefully you won't have to take the route that I had to take. Ben, 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 